think it's nice to receive things with your mind as a blank canvas. The, the point is that we receive as a blank canvas that when you hear something, you allow the art kind of to be made for the first time in a way, that you don't have to all view it in the same way. My sexuality just doesn't play a very big part in my life like that. It's much more of like an animalistic, pure thing and I struggled with understanding it my whole life because I felt more connected to male artists, more connected to rock and roll, more con connected to glam culture. Femininity, the way that I learned about it growing up, I just didn't feel comfortable in it. I mean, like today, you know, we tried wigs on and the ones that were maybe more girly or pretty, it was like I felt uncomfortable because that's just not how I see my music. And there's a certain power in ignoring any sort of pretense about sexual orientation or, or gender. It's so much, like to me, a canvas doesn't have gender. So if you're a vehicle, you have to um, kind of annihilate all of those preconceived notions. But, but some people are really driven by their sexuality and it's part of who they are. It's just, it's just not for me. My, being a woman is like, it's a secondary part of my existence. I'm much more concerned with my consciousness and knowing that I am my fans, my fans are me, we are each other, all people are connected, and that if one person is sick, the whole world is sick. It's like all about compassion and love. Yeah. <laughs>